Today we need to talk about some fans apparently calling Jungkook sick and what it is about. I also want to get into stalkers apparently following Jungkook backstage at the Today Show and then Jungkook dating a staff member in that rumor. And of course we need to talk about the future appearances of J-Hope being cancelled. Say down please as Dave Desai, hater or not, make sure you subscribe to with the notification bell on, grab your thumbs up notes, hey spilling work merch, and let's go. People, I think, were overall happy to hear the news about J-Hope. If you are not aware, J-Hope is enlisting in the military and we haven't heard much from him as he is working very hard being a soldier. People have been wondering what was going on and recently there was a bit of an update. So every soldier that ends up being a celebrity is obviously treated very differently in the service. They don't get much exemption when it comes to training and that sort of thing and it seems security might not even be that different for them. However, what is different is that they are still treated as someone who could bring attention to the military. And I find this very odd because while of course even in the US, the military does ads and may even have celebrities come on to endorse them, which would of course increase signups and thus maybe increase the budget the military might get from the government, I don't know. But in Korea, I find the action of this to be quite odd. Many people are very much aware that the BTS members were sort of forced to enlist and were not people that wanted to do it. They might be publicly saying that they wouldn't mind enlisting or they would love to serve out their duties like everyone else, but if they actually had a choice as to go or not, they probably would prefer to not and just go about their career as normal. And so it's not like the audience and fans don't know that. And so to have idols endorse the military when everyone knows they would probably not prefer to be there is a very strange move. But how do Korean idols promote the military? The military provides these special events. These are events that are official military events and the idols would either go on to sing or host as an MC. And sometimes they may wear their uniform. It obviously looks very good and then any kids or audience member that have not enlisted yet can be excited that they are following in the footsteps of those they idolize. It was rumored that Jungkook was to appear as an MC at an event called International Military Cook Competition. This is definitely an honorable event to host. Military chefs from all around the world, including the US, are asked to join the competition and see which country provides the best food for their soldiers. The government initially talked about having a J-Hope host it as his appearance would attract a huge overseas audience to come watch. And then above that, I'm sure it also is extremely prideful for the Korean military to be seen as someone who provides great food and a great military experience. I don't know. Apparently the officials had also asked Hybe for permission and given that J-Hope didn't have to perform, then Hybe was all okay with it. If J-Hope had to perform, there would need to be permission for the label involving things like copyright and money. It was believed for a long time that J-Hope would make an appearance and it wasn't until the last minute it seemed the head of the defense ministry vetoed J-Hope appearing at all and talked about wanting J-Hope to focus focus on pursuing his military duties just like everyone else. I think among this and something that was maybe never mentioned by the ministry was that if they asked J-Hope to host that cooking competition, there would be a lot of backlash. Armies would be furious because once again, the military would be asking J-Hope to do something while giving him nothing. J-Hope likely would not be paid to do this, but maybe just be allowed a day or two to not train and there's no real benefit for him to do this. And so there'd be for sure a huge uproar online. And I think the ministry canceling this event appearance and possibly other military event appearances by J-Hope is no doubt a very smart move. Although it's very fair, I can't also help but think of how sad J-Hope might be as this would be his first public appearance and event in a long time and he probably misses being on stage even if it's just hosting and he probably misses the spotlight. I hope all the other members that have yet to enter the military are simply enjoying their time in the spotlight while being aware that they might be out of that spotlight pretty soon. Jungkook is someone who I worry about a little bit because he is recently getting some backlash. Fans are calling him sick and not in a great way. It seems it's hard for people to accept that Jungkook's real personality could be that of someone much older and someone who likes to tease or be more dominant. People describe his personality that we are seeing more lately of that of an older brother. So what happened recently? If you're not aware, Jungkook recently was invited to perform on the Today Show. He did a great job and especially since he was literally so cold. And then on top of all that, he got a chance 
chance to interact with some fans who waited for such a long time to see Jungkook. The reporter for the Today Show wanted to bring attention to this 10 year old little girl who was holding up a poster and showing her love towards Jungkook. Of course anyone can see why they'd want to bring this to someone's attention as it's literally so cute and so adorable to see how much this little girl loves Jungkook. The reporter after putting the camera on the little girl, Jungkook was able to say hi and the girl literally cried so much. She was so overly joyous of the fact that Jungkook said hi to her and on her birthday. Right after Jungkook said hi and then the girl started crying, Jungkook then started to mimic the cry which people online took it as Jungkook was mimicking a 10 year old girl. And I think some of the people making this joke were fine, you can make a joke, but there were definitely people who were most definitely not joking and constantly are accusing Jungkook lately of being extremely rude and a bad person. But the thing is, Jungkook was just joking around and just trying to be funny. There was no ill intent here and he has no intention of mocking this little girl. He ended up saying happy birthday and he probably just thought it was cute that she was crying. Because especially if you're not a self-centered person, you might think, oh, why would someone cry over me? And thus your response might be to joke about it. It's very weird. It's not a normal feeling to have someone cry over you. And many people, maybe Jungkook included, could be very uncomfortable with someone crying over them. I know I would be. Jungkook is not rude and I don't like this narrative. This narrative of him being rude coupled with people trying to stalk Jungkook is definitely a very odd one and can then make his job near unbearable to deal with. Jungkook was believed to have recently been stalked and I cannot believe this is the conversation that we are having right now again. So what happened? Jungkook was backstage. It was believed that he was talking to a staff member or whatever and it was believed he was talking in Korean about how cold it was but then noticed someone recording him backstage and goes oop. Now this was believed to be a sasing or stalker recording him because it seems Jungkook is recording something as there's a lot of cameramen following him even in that clip. So he's not unaware that multiple people are recording him. So what fans are saying is that if he was surprised then that means that person isn't supposed to be there. However that person can literally still be there but just Jungkook had no idea where she went and then was surprised when he finally saw her. And then of course if the clip is coming out then of course that means it's being leaked. As I don't believe any of Jungkook's behind the scene clips are being posted anywhere right now. However I would love to challenge this idea to say that the person backstage could be a stalker because how on earth did they even get in? Security can't possibly be so bad to the point where a little fan can just walk in the back door with a camera. And what I will say is a possible theory as to who this is. It could be a staff member that was maybe recording her own story for her own personal Instagram and then it went viral. Understanding that most things in reality are not as exciting as we think it is. We tend to think of the most dramatic outcomes and the most dramatic possible story that could exist. For no fault of our own, social media, movies, Google are very much very dramatic. So when you have a thing like a paper cut, you're thinking you could die. When in reality, the truth is a lot less interesting and way less dramatic. People then also think that Jungkook is dating his staff and that the stalker must have caught that moment in which he was dating his staff because one of the staff members recording Jungkook, as we can see, is a woman. It wasn't too long ago when it was believed that Jungkook was dating a specific staff member named Nicole. Now how on earth did people get a literal name of a staff member? I don't know. I also feel a bit like the name could just be something people came up with, like a random name to identify her and that's not actually her name. Kind of like what people are doing with the name Karen and how it describes a mean person. But in this case, Nicole would describe that staff. This rumor Jungkook and Nicole dates way back and they show moments where Jungkook would go into a restaurant with this crew and there would be a woman there. So they think Jungkook is dating her. This is silly. Jungkook is self-employed. He works for himself. And of course, at his level of success, he is going to have people working for him. Jungkook, of course, is going to want to treat his staff to dinner when they travel to thank them for the good work. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.